Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to be using Keynote 09 to create intro videos for your YouTube videos. Now I have one right here that I created in Keynote 09 from the iWork suite. Let me rewind this and play it for you. All right, we have some animated text that's coming in on the first slide and then it jumps over to some animated images. And that's what I created. It didn't take very long for me to do and I'm gonna show you how to do it in Keynote 09. In my dock at the bottom I've got this little podium looking icon which is Keynote. Keynote does not come standard but you can purchase this as part of a pack or part of the iWorks 09 suite. So I'm going to click on that and what it's going to start off with is the theme chooser. Now for this particular demonstration I'm going to use showroom. If you move from left to right you can see what all the different slides look like in a particular theme. So as I move the cursor left to right I can see all the different ones. Now I like the showroom so I'm gonna click on the showroom once here. I'm gonna do down to my slide size. Now in order to get an HD video intro for YouTube you need to choose 1280 by 720 as your size. And I'm gonna go ahead and select choose and it's going to open up and I have my first slide here. Now the first slide opens up as a title slide so I can double click on this and type in Digital Goulash, the name of my show. Now, right over here on the right hand side we have a thing that says build. Now this is our inspector. If you don't see the inspector, let me click off of this, it is the little blue eye here, the inspector. So you click on it and if you don't see this one, it is the third one over the yellow diamond. Now I just typed in Digital Goulash and I want to add an effect to it. So I'm going to click this and I'm going to choose bouncy this time and I can see in the preview what the bouncy looks like. It keeps bouncing in and my digital goulash title bounces in to the screen. I can double click and I can add some subtext to this. I'm going to type in a hodgepodge of videos from the mind of Chucky. Once again I can come over to my effect and I could pick one of these. I could use flash bulbs to come in and what would happen. Now flash bulbs you can't see them too well on a white background so I might be able to change that one and put something in like uh, maybe typewriter you've probably seen that before or something else. Now you also have uh, some other things once you do that I can do some orbital thing here but once you do this you can also look at whether or not your duration is long duration or if it's a short duration. So I've got this particular one in here. So let me go ahead and add a new slide here. There's a new slide. Now normally I don't do motorcycle reviews so if I go to my finder I can go in here and I can pick one of my camera images and I can drag this over here on top of the motorcycle image. Now there's a few things that I have to do with this and the first thing is is make it a little bit smaller. So if I just click on my image I can make this thing a little bit smaller here. The next thing is you can see that it kinda cropped this because it created a specific size for me. So I'm gonna go into Edit Mask and I'm going to include the rest of my camera and there we go. Now if I want to line this up if you've noticed the little yellow things that have been appearing here I can grab a hold of this and I can drag this and that is the center. If I drag it up and down you can see that there's the center going up and down so that is the very center of my slide. Now this white is kinda of detracting here I don't really like this white so if I want to I could come over here where it says alpha and alpha just means that you want to take away one of the colors and make it transparent. So we're going to make the white transparent. So if I click on that, you can see that it gets rid of all the white around here. And now it's just a transparent image with a camera on it. Now, I need to put some sort of an effect in here. 
and we can do the flame. The flame's kind of nice. You can make this camera appear in a bursting flame there. And then I could type something in here, something like product reviews. Wow, cannot type today. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add another slide in here, just for the sake of it. I can come over here and I, once again I could grab a hold of one of the images that I have on my desktop. Come over here. Now this is something that I just did using a screen capture and I the instructions on the screen capture are on one of my other videos so you'll just have to take a look. That's kind of a shameless plug there. Now once again I have to go to edit mask. I'm going to do this rather quickly. I'm going to come over here Put it all the way to the right hand side, edit mask, and there we go. Okay, so now I've got this whole thing in here. Another couple things that you can do with this is you could come over here and you can put a frame on this. So if we wanted to put a frame effect, we could just click on the second one over here and we could put some sort of a frame effect on it. And uh, that's not the one I wanted. Uh, the frame effect is right here, picture frame. So it's like the fifth one over here. I'm going to put a picture frame, and you can see it puts a little white thing over there with a little drop shadow. So I've got my picture frame. Now what I want to do is I want to create the transition on this one, and I'm going to come over here and put, uh, I'll just put cube in there, and it's going to slide in like a cube. And I'm pretty much done now. If I wanted to see what it looked like, I could click on the first slide and then click play. And then it will take me through this particular one. And you can see the jumping digital goulash. And then the rest of it kind of comes in. And then the big flame on the camera. And then last but not least, I have another one. Now I do need to uh, center that one. So if I grab a hold of this, I can come in. There's the center. Remember I said center and center. So there's the center right there. Now, if I wanted to make this into a video, I would come over to my share button right here, and then I would go down to export. Now you can see we don't want manual advance. If this was a slideshow, that would be a great thing, but we want a video. So I'm going to change this to fixed timing, and I'll just leave it the way it is. Uh, maybe I'll change that. Maybe I'll change it to two seconds just for the sake of this video. And then uh, what I'd like to do is come over here and show you that we have a bunch of different formats. If we click the down arrow, we can go into custom. And I'm going to make sure that this is 1280 by 720 to make sure that it is in high definition on YouTube. I'm going to come over to my settings. I usually use 25 frames per second. H264, 125 keyframes, I restrict it to 1200 kilobits a second, put it on best right over here. Okay, bring this down over into best quality. Okay, how come it is not going into best? Okay, it doesn't like me today. So normally I put it over here onto best and then I put it on multi-pass and then select OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and pause this video as it is rendering because it does take a little bit while, a little time. I'm going to type in YouTube HD and then I'm going to hit export and then it's going to go in here and it's going to render. So I need to come over here and I need to pause this for just a second here. Okay, it looks like my export is finished now. I'll come over to the finder and I will go onto my desktop and I name that one YouTube HD. I'll double click on that and you can see that my video finished. It has all the different effects there and the big flame there with the camera and then last but not least kind of a cube thing with the um, the image that I have that looks like a photo. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Have some fun if you have a iWork 09 and check out my other videos if you need to know how to create a screen capture of something on your desktop. But please subscribe, leave me a comment, and have some fun. Take care.